Good morning, everyone. We are so excited for this surprise announcement. My name is Stacy Carota, and I am the Executive Director of Development for the College of Sciences. We are pleased that you can join us today. We would love to see you live, so if you are able, please turn on your camera. Joining us for this special occasion are a wonderful group of supporters from the College of Sciences and Department of Astronomy, including generous donors, alumni, faculty, staff, students, and emeriti faculty. We also have current and former members of the Campanile Foundation and SDSU alumni boards. Welcome and thank you for being here. Before we continue, we want to recognize that for millennia, the Kumeyaay people have been part of this land. This land has nourished, healed, protected, and embraced them for many generations in a relationship of balance and harmony. As members of the San Diego State University community, we acknowledge this legacy. We promote this balance and harmony. We find inspiration from this land, the land of the Kumeyaay. During the program, if you would like to ask a question, please enter it into the chat function. You will also have an opportunity to show off your knowledge with some SDSU astronomy trivia. Now let's get started. To begin, I would like to introduce the president of San Diego State University, Dr. Adela De La Torre. Thank you, Stacy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this exciting event. We're so glad you're joining us for today's surprise announcement, which will launch San Diego State University and the Department of Astronomy to a new level of research, exploration, and discovery. Our astronomy department is a shining star. It is the only standalone astronomy department in the California State University 23 campus system. Additionally, San Diego State is one of only a handful of universities around the world that operates its own mountaintop observatory located at Mount Laguna. Under the guidance of world-renowned researchers, the Department of Astronomy is also one of only three master's degree programs in the country. As SDSU is known for, our students are engaged and actively participate in research alongside faculty. Their work is regularly published in well-known astronomy journals. Part of SDSU's unwavering commitment to students and their future as scientists. And speaking of a point of pride, our collaboration with America's public space agency, NASA, has resulted in the discovery of many new planets. Just over a year ago, in January 2020, SDSU astronomers, working with an international team of co-investigators, announced the discovery of the first circumbinary planet system from NASA's test mission. At that time, only about a do dozen similar systems had ever been discovered, most of them by SDSU's planet hunting team. There's never been a better time to be an astronomy student at SDSU. As world-renowned 17th century astronomer, Johannes Kepler once said, the treasures hidden in the heavens are so rich that the human mind shall never be lacking in fresh nourishment. At SDSU, we know that curious minds need nourishment. That's why I'm thrilled to share that today's announcement will demonstrate that for many years to come, San Diego State University and the Department of Astronomy are in a position to support the growth and development of many more curious minds. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the Dean of SDSU's College of Sciences, Dr. Jeffrey Roberts. Thank you, President de la Torre. I so appreciate your reference to Johannes Kepler, 
one of the greatest scientists ever and someone whose contributions to our understanding of the universe continue to influence the field of astronomy, even today. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. As we continue to work in this crazy virtual environment, we're always looking for new ways to engage our astronomy family and to share updates. Today's announcement is truly out of this world. Before we get to the big news, I want to take a minute to recognize SDSU's College of Sciences. No pandemic will get us down. The college is thriving with more points of pride than I have time to tell you about. But I will mention one. Last year, College of Sciences faculty received over 750 awards, grants, and contracts, totaling about $140 million. That's more than three grants per faculty member. No wonder our faculty and students continue to change the world through their research. The Astronomy Department, one of eight departments in the College of Sciences, had an especially outstanding year. Many of our students were admitted into prestigious PhD programs. Others were hired at the Space Telescope Science Institute to, support, to work on supporting the Hubble Space Telescope and preparing the James Webb Space Telescope. Our award-winning faculty in astronomy are always there to teach and mentor students in the classroom and through research opportunities. These opportunities are made available through grants and the generosity of our donors. Many of you are joining us today, joining us today are part of our family of donors and have made it possible to learn more about how the study of astronomy impacts our lives. And that brings us to our surprise announcement today. The first 250 guests who RSVP'd to attend today's event received a pair of star glasses. We'd like to ask you to put these glasses on and turn on your cameras, and let's take a look at our starry-eyed guests. And now for our surprise announcement. It is a privilege and an honor to announce that San Diego State University's Department of Astronomy has received a gift from the estate of Mr. Theodore William and Mrs. Nyong Lu Booth in the amount of... This astronomical $14 million gift is the largest donation in the history of the astronomy department. It will provide support for upper division undergraduate astronomy majors and for graduate students in the astronomy department. On behalf of the Department of Astronomy, the College of Sciences, and San Diego State University, I want to express my deepest gratitude to the late Mr. and Mrs. Theodore Booth. If they were here today, I know that Mr. Booth's passion for astronomy and Mrs. Booth's love for her alma mater would shine brightly. I cannot underscore the significance of this gift enough, which will provide our students the chance to become the next generation of researchers, explorers, and pioneers. And joining us today to speak about impact-driven philanthropy is SDSU's Vice President for University Relations and Development and the CEO of the Camp and Eel Foundation, Adrian Vargas. Please join me in welcoming Adrian. Thank you, Dean Roberts. And indeed, this is a significant impact-driven gift. Congratulations to you and the astronomy department. It's an honor to be part of this incredible announcement and momentous occasion. And I am not at all surprised by the impressive turnout to this virtual event. It's wonderful to see so many familiar faces. Philanthropy and fundraising in a university setting play an enormous role from providing scholarships and diverse opportunities in research and academics, to offering extraordinary activities that help students develop their social skills. Private funds are vital to the funding model that powers lifelong learning. Last year, gift commitments to SDSU totaled more than $127 million, an increase of nearly 10% from the previous year. Gifts like the one we recognize and celebrate today often come from people with a passion for a particular cause or something they believe in. While Mr. Theodore Booth did not attend San Diego State University, he had a passion for astronomy. 
And what makes this gift even more special is that he directed it to the astronomy department at the school where his wife graduated. Like with many gifts, we will establish an endowment named in honor of Mr. Theodore William and Mrs. Noong Lu Booth to support students in the Department of Astronomy now and in the future. For decades, generous contributions have helped SDSU open doors for students to follow their dreams while having an experience of a lifetime. Alumni and friends have come to understand the university's importance as an economic driver for the San Diego region and beyond. They support our mission to be among the nation's top tier public research in universities. As we honor and celebrate the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. Booth today, we also offer a heartfelt thank you to all of our donors. You inspire excellence, ignite discovery, and deliver promise to our students. And now, here to speak about igniting discovery is Professor and Chair of the Department of Astronomy, Dr. Eric Sendquist. Thank you, Adrian. We appreciate understanding more about Mr. and Mrs. Booth and that this gift will be in invested in an endowment. More than most, astronomers know the feeling of being small. Ant-like on our planet, a speck of dust next to a star, minuscule in the universe. This gift is larger than any of us could have dreamed and we're humbled by the generosity of the Booth family. In astronomy, we can't let ourselves be starstruck by the astronomical sizes of things, by the overwhelming scale of it all. We should take joy in knowing that we can measure the universe despite its vastness. We should take joy in using our creativity and craftiness to make the discoveries that we can. We will have that same spirit in ensuring that the legacy of the Booth family lives on. Astronomers at SDSU have discovered planets around other stars, studied nature's most powerful explosions, and its darkest depths, as long and look back in time to read the history of the universe itself. It's also our mission to be teachers and our responsibility to pass on knowledge. Teaching here is not simply telling students what we've seen, but showing them how to broaden and deepen their views. Learning is not simply listening to professors, but more about stepping out of the classroom and listening to every way the universe can speak to us. At San Diego State, we've specialized in giving students with uncommon backgrounds opportunities to learn the science, research, and teaching. But all too often, earthly financial challenges prevent students, students from accepting our offers. This gift will make the choice much easier for many students to pursue their scientific passions in teaching and research. All of us in the astronomy department are deeply grateful for this gift. Now it's my pleasure to introduce one of the many star students in, our, in the astronomy department. He came to us with a bachelor's degree in astronomy from UCLA and chose SDSU to advance his knowledge and broaden his view. He is second year graduate student, Eric Breton. Thank you, Dr. Sanquist. It's wonderful to know that students will have opportunities to pursue their passion thanks to this gift. In fact, this gift will have a profound impact on the university, our department, and students like me. Before I speak to the importance of this gift, I would like to switch things up. As a student, I have taken hundreds of quizzes and tests. I thought it would be fun to reverse the roles and quiz you on your astronomy knowledge. Let's have some fun and do a quick Zoom poll. By now, you should see a Zoom poll on your screen. Now let's start with question number one. How many planets have SDSU astronomers discovered in two star systems? Systems, excuse me. Your options are five, nine, or 13. Go ahead and make your selection. I'll give you a hint. It's either five, nine, or 13 planets. <laughs> 
All right, let's move on to question number two. It's a bit harder. What institution has hired the most SDSU astronomy alumni? Is it Space Telescope Science Institute, the Griffith Park Observatory in Los Angeles, or the National Air and Space Museum? Go ahead, take your votes. Okay, take one more moment to submit your answers and we'll see how you did. All right, the correct answer to question number one is 13. Isn't that amazing? 13 planets discovered by SDSU astronomers. And for question number two, the correct answer is the Space Telescope Science Institute. Nicely done. It looks like many of you got both of the questions right. Thanks for being good participants and playing along. What we have heard today is the, that philanthropy is playing a vital role in higher education. SCSU is committed to a future where all students are able to achieve their greatest potential. Students like me are grateful for hands-on training and for access to knowledge, tools, and experiences. When we can draw from a variety of resources, we are more likely to achieve our goals. Furthermore, achieving goals often increases self-confidence, which plays an important role in transitioning from the university setting to the workforce. I came to SDSU to enhance my knowledge of astronomy, knowing that I would be learning from the best in a program with a reputation you could hang a star on. The Department of Astronomy is ready to launch to the next level, and this gift will help us navigate where we go next. I speak on behalf of SESU astronomy students when I say we are fortunate for Mr. and Mrs. Booth's generosity. We promise to carry on his passion for astronomy and will make her alma mater proud as we explore the universe with curious minds. I think we have time for a few questions, so I'll turn the program back over to Stacy. Thank you, Eric. You are an inspiration. During the program, we received several great questions and many congratulatory messages and words of support and encouragement. So thank you. We have time to answer a couple of those questions now. Let's start with the first question. Dean Roberts, this one is for you. Help us understand how this gift will allow SDSU's Department of Astronomy to recruit the best and brightest students interested in studying astronomy. So Stacy, I'll give you two reasons. First, the Booth gift will do a lot more than offset tuition for astronomy students. Their hands-on experiences will be so much richer and frankly better than they would at, than their experiences would be at other institutions. So we'll recruit better students. Just as importantly, however, we'll be able to, San Diego State will be able to recruit students who are passionate about astronomy, but whose personal or financial circumstances I might have discouraged from choosing astronomy as a major. And so this is very important as well. It's a very impactful gift. Thank you, Dean Roberts. Our next question is for Dr. Sandquist. How do you think the gift will impact the students and their ability to complete their degrees? Uh, simply put, the Booth gift will allow us to do, uh, to support students in almost every way imaginable. Uh, for example, we have had students in the past where they've um, had to decline our offers of admission to our programs because they've uh, been unable to financially support themselves. We've had students who've had to leave our program before they were able to complete their degrees because they were unable to support themselves. This is an incredibly sized gift and it will allow us to support students in a wide variety of ways and in all the ways that they wish to pursue their passions in astronomy, whether it's research or teaching. Thank you, Dr. Sandquist. Our third question is for our student, Eric Bratton. What is your astronomy dream job? And what are your immediate plans for, your, for you after graduation? Well, my immediate plans after graduation uh, is, well, first I would like to finish my program and get a degree at, from SDSU, which I'm really proud of. 
and hopefully that will prepare me for the uh, transition period of finding a job. Um, and so I'm really proud of that. And I feel like SDSU has done a really good job on preparing me for that. Um, my dream job, however, is uh, at the end of the line, I would like to do research at a university and teach uh, as my uh, mentors here and my professors here in the astronomy program has uh, inspired me to educate others. And I hope to inspire others as well. Thank you, Eric. Our fourth and final question is once again for Dean Roberts. Is it possible that this gift can or will serve as a catalyst for additional gifts to not only the department, but SDSU's College of Sciences? I hope so. For astronomy, our next job is to ensure that our students have access to the facilities and the support they need and deserve to do their work whether that means installing new telescopes at Mount Laguna or upgrading our computing facilities or supporting our superstar faculty. For the college as a whole, this gift shines a light on the excellence of all of our programs and the students and faculty who would so benefit from uh, philanthropic support. So to our donors out there, watch what we do with the Booth gift. You will be amazed and uh, proud of what we do at San Diego State University. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Roberts. So that's all the time we have for questions. If we didn't get to yours, we'll follow up with you after the event. Dean Roberts, back to you for closing remarks. Thank you all for attending and being part of our starry-eyed announcement. And thank you for your support of San Diego State and the Department of Astronomy. This concludes our formal program, but for those of you who have time to stay a bit, we're going to share congratulatory remarks from Department of Astronomy alumni working around the globe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hi, my name is David Krogsrud, and I graduated the SDSU Astronomy Department in 2010. I'm currently a mission director for NASA's Airborne Observatory, SOFIA, which you can see behind me. We're currently in Germany doing several weeks of science flights before we return back to California where we're normally based. I'd like to thank the department for giving me my start uh, in my career working at astronomical observatories and also congratulate the department on this very generous gift. Hi everyone, my name is Quinn Hart and I graduated from San Diego State in 1999 with my master's degree in astronomy. I'm a senior outreach scientist at the Space Telescope Science Institute, where I work on science communication projects for NASA space missions like Hubble, Webb, and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. From teaching my first classes to hosting star parties, um, working at SDSU really cemented my passion for communicating science. Congratulations on this gift to the department. I look forward to hearing about how it will launch future graduates on their path to success. Congratulations. Hi. My name is Mark Phillips, class of 1973. I'm speaking to you from the Las Campanas Observatory located in the Andes Mountains of Northern Chile, where I'm now the Emeritus Director. It was at San Diego State and Mount Laguna Observatory where my passion for astronomy was, was first kindled. Here I am nearly 50 years later, still marveling at the wonders of the universe. My congratulations to the astronomy department for this important gift, which is sure to transform the lives of an exciting new generation of astronomy students at San Diego State. My name is Melanie, and I graduated from the astronomy program at San Diego State University in 2016, and I'm currently a master's candidate. Everything I experienced in the program from the academics to the research experience to the social environment was all that I needed to prepare myself for what I was going to see once I entered the astronomy community at large. Anyone who's in the program right now, if you're watching this, I know that you are learning everything you need to become successful in this field. And I know I'm going to meet some of you in the future. And I'm really looking forward to that. Congratulations to the astronomy program at San Diego State University. I know the impact you've had on my life is immeasurable. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how this award uh, goes on to impact many more futures to come. Hello, I'm Grant Miller, 
Master of Science, class of 92. Currently, I'm Professor of Astronomy and Planetarium Director at Southwestern College, who was prepared for my career at San Diego State by being in a very welcoming and high quality graduate program that gave me a chance to teach my very own Astronomy 101 class without supervision, making sure that when I had my job at the college, I was ready to go. More than that, I also ended up with lifelong friends from my classmates, which is why we're doing this together as a team uh, all these years later. So I'll hand it over to. My name is Victoria Sahami. I am a graduate from San Diego State University, class of 1993. And I had the honor of being um, in classes with all four of the people on the screen here right now. And 30 years later, we're still very close friends. The um, the astronomy department at San Diego State was was very instrumental in helping me do what I do now, which is lead tours to see total solar eclipses around the world. And that's um, something that uh, I, my love of astronomy was encouraged by San Diego State and the value in teaching. And I've been able to use that constructively for, for years. And I'll pass it on to... Hello, I'm Kenneth Yano, professor of Geographical Sciences at Southwestern College, along with Grant, who's a colleague of mine there. I focus on remote sensing and image analysis. I was a graduate of 1993 from San Diego State Astronomy Program with a master's degree. I think the biggest thing I got out of San Diego State Astronomy, besides these lovely friends, was a real appreciation for scholarship. And that has carried me through my entire career, the joy of learning, the joy of explaining. I think a lot of it really can be attributed to San Diego State Astronomy. So I'm proud to be an alumni of the astronomy program. Thank you. And I shall pass this on to. Uh, hi, my name is Trina Ray, and I was a graduate of San Diego State Astronomy Department in 1995 with a master's degree. I currently work at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where I spent many, many decades on the Cassini mission uh, to Saturn, and I'm currently the Europa Clipper Sci Deputy Science Manager. Uh, I want to say that San Diego State gave me a foundational understanding of astronomy that I use every day at work, but it also gave me a love of communicating astronomy to the public. All the times we went up to Mount Laguna Observatory for star parties, uh, being able to teach, I think Grant mentioned, all four of us were uh, awarded the opportunity to teach the Astronomy 101 class, and it made us all lifelong astronomy teachers. And so one thing we would all like to say to the department is congratulations on the gift. We know that you will use it brilliantly. Hi, I'm Meredith Rawls, and I graduated from San Diego State University in 2010 with a master's in astronomy. Now I work as a research scientist at University of Washington in their Department of Astronomy for a Vera C. Rubin Observatory and the Legacy Survey of Space and Time. Congratulations on this wonderful gift. May it be the first of many for astronomy departments and science departments in the nation and world. Hi, I'm Harish Kondrika. I graduated in 2014 with a master's degree in astronomy from San Diego State University. After graduation, I joined the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, where I'm currently a staff scientist. At San Diego State, I work closely with Dr. Doug Leonard on my master's thesis project which involved infrared observations of supernovae using NIRM on the Mount Laguna one meter telescope. The experience, the guidance, and the training that I received at San Diego State were crucial to my recruitment at Space Telescope. And now I am the operations lead of the Whitefield Camera 3 on board the Hubble Space Telescope. Heartiest congratulations to the department on this amazing and transformational gift, which will greatly benefit the research work of the faculty and help shape the careers of the students for years to come. Thank you very much for letting me be a part of this amazing honor. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Jamie Erickson, astronomy master's class of 95. Currently, I'm the director of operations at Apache Point Observatory in Sunspot, New Mexico. During my time at SDSU, I was lucky to work for Dr. Bob Leach building camera controllers. That experience combined with classwork and opportunities at Mount Laguna Observatory both observing and star parties, created a set of skills that has helped shape and guide my career. SDSU astronomy influences every day of my life. I get to work at an observatory, 
And then when I go home, my wife Stacy is an SDSU astronomy grad as well. Congratulations and go Aztecs. Hello, San Diego State and the Astronomy Department. My name is Amanda Bayless and I graduated with a master's degree in 2006. I'm currently a research scientist in the Remote Sensing Department at the Aerospace Corporation. The Astronomy Department gave me a great foundation to continue with my graduate studies, earn a PhD, and go on to an astronomy career. And I just want to say congratulations! Hi, my name is Rick Burris. I'm the superintendent at Palomar Observatory in North San Diego County. I am a proud San Diego State Aztec alumni from 1995 and uh, very, very proud and happy to have been a member of both the San Diego State and the Astronomy Department family during my time at San Diego State. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Astronomy. Came to work at Palomar Observatory right after graduating. Came here in 1996 and I've been working uh, in one capacity or another here at the observatory for 25 years. Nearly. I spent 10 years at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory working in the Adaptive Optics Group, building adaptive optics instruments and subsystems, and came back to be the superintendent here in uh, 2017. And I'm very proud of, of uh, being an Aztec. My daughter, in fact, graduated from San Diego State with an environmental science degree in uh, two years ago, I believe. And she's now an environmental scientist for the Port of San Diego. So we're proud Aztec alumni. And I'd like to congratulate the astronomy department on the uh, gift that I understand you received. And uh, very happy for the incoming students who could take advantage of that, the scholarship, and however else that will be applied. and. Uh, we invite you here to come to the observatory sometime soon and hope, hope to see you soon. My name is Noreen Grice. I graduated from SDSU with a master's degree in astronomy in 1987. I'm founder and president of You Can Do Astronomy, a consulting company that makes astronomy more accessible to students with disabilities. SDSU supported my foundational knowledge of astronomy. While on campus, I presented planetarium programs for the community and also served as president of the Astronomical Society. So congratulations to the SDSU Astronomy Department on this transformational gift. Hi, everybody. I'm David Dvorkin. I'm presently a senior curator for the history of astronomy at the National Air and Space Museum at Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. I've been a senior curator uh, for many years. I've been here at the museum for over 40 years. Uh, I was at uh, San Diego State uh, from approximately 66 uh, through uh, early 68. Uh, got a master's degree and uh, certainly remember it uh, very warmly. Uh, it was a time when uh, uh, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do uh, with uh, my astronomy interests. And uh, San Diego State more than helped me uh, uh, reignite my, uh, my passion for astronomy. So thank you so much. Thank you to my professors, uh, Art Young, you know, uh, John Schopp, uh, Ted Daub, um, and more of them certainly. Uh, really, really. Uh, uh, wonderful staff. So congratulations on your, um, on your gift, on the gift that will uh, evidently uh, ensure your uh, future programming. All best. So I graduated from San Diego State University in summer 2020, and I currently work at Mainland Space Science Systems. My job title is Missions Operations Specialist and I basically operate the cameras on the Mars Curiosity rover. And the way STSU prepared me is I wouldn't be here without San Diego State's astronomy department since operating the cameras is very similar to operating a telescope. So shout out to Dr. Quimby. And we also do code in Python. So I'm very comfortable with Python thanks to my research and my classes. And they really strengthen my coding abilities. So. Thank you, SDSU, and congratulations on this transformational gift. I graduated in 2019 with my master's degree in astronomy. I currently work at the McDonald Observatory, where I'm the Hobby Everly Telescope Observer. The knowledge 
and observing experience that I gained from the astronomy department has been crucial in operating and observing using one of the world's largest telescopes. Congratulations to the astronomy department for this wonderful gift that they've received. My name is Randy Campbell, and I graduated from San Diego State in 1992 in the Astronomy Master's Program. And I'm currently working at the WM Keck Observatory for the past 27 years. I'm now managing the Science Operations Group. San Diego State prepared me for this career with both a great education program and science uh, research, as well as the observing experience at Mount Laguna. And I'm really glad to be able to congratulate you on this important gift to support uh, the San Diego State program. Way to go, congratulations. Hi, my name is Annie Hedlund and I graduated from SDSU in 2018. I'm currently in my third year at New Mexico State University pursuing a PhD in astronomy. Um, I've been a teaching assistant and a research assistant for the past couple of years, but Last spring, I was awarded um, a student fellow position at the Los Alamos National Laboratory here in New Mexico. So I will begin working on my dissertation research at the National Lab shortly. Um, my time at SDSU not only solidified my knowledge base of astronomy through coursework, but it introduced me to the actual areas I now specialize in, uh, binary stars and astroseismology. Um, by researching these topics for my master's thesis, I honed my technical and computational skills, making me very well equipped um, to succeed in my current PhD program. Um, so I was very excited to hear that SDSU Astronomy was receiving a transformational gift. Um, SDSU is a really important step in my career in astronomy, so I'm glad that the department will be able to help more students succeed um, in careers in astronomy. So congrats. Hello everyone, my name is Mark Mayer and I graduated from San Diego State in 1989, which is hard to believe it's now been 32 years. So I currently work at a community college called Mount San Jacinto College, which is in Menifee, California. And I'm the chair of the physics astronomy department uh, we currently have a brand new campus that's opening up in Temecula this year, and we service about 14,000 students uh, across several different campuses. So how did SDSU prepare me for my career? So I had some great professors who passed on their knowledge. So I'd like to acknowledge uh, Professor Ted Dobb, Ronald Angioni, and Fred Talbert, and thanks guys for all your help during the, the course of my career. And then the other thing that uh, probably, you know, the reason why I went to San Diego State is at the time, they were the only state college with a research grade observatory. So that's probably what brought me to San Diego State in the first place. And uh, I was actually present for the installation of the 40 inch on top of Mount Laguna. And one of the things I share with my classes is, uh, you know, in one of Ronald, Ron Angioni's classes, uh, we got to make a uh, exposure on a plate of glass. And I still have that plate of glass and I still show it to my classes and show them how astronomy used to be done before all the electronic detectors came along. So congratulations, the astronomy department at SDSU. This is an incredible gift. I am sure you guys will do great things with it. And I look forward to seeing uh, what comes out of it. Thank you, everybody.